Tyler Golick is one of the best passers in this year's 2024 NBA Draft. He is a pure playmaker, a guy who can get his teammates open, who can advance the ball down the court and just get the break started and also create a shot for himself. And with all that being said, I think Tyler Kolek is a guy who will have success at the NBA level. Now he's six foot two, six foot three, similar wingspan, just under 200 pounds and he'll be 23 years old when the draft takes place. He is a guard and after spending one year at George Mason, he spent his last three seasons with Marquette, where as I mentioned, he led the, the nation in assists per game. He had 15 points, right around five rebounds and just under eight assists per game. He shot 50% from the field, 39% from three, 85% from the free throw line and 55% from two, three turnovers per game and just over one and a half steals per game. So now we've got the stats out of the way. Here's the overview and, and the positives, the strengths of Tyler Cole. He's a lefty. He's a great passer, like just a great passer. And, and not only on his assists, but like I mentioned earlier, he does a great job of getting the ball up the court. And that could be a pass to assist. It may not even be a pass to assist, but he gets the the offense going quickly. And that's what I like about Kolek. And typically, speaking of that, he's a quick decision maker. Um, he's a good shooter. He's got good basketball IQ and great vision. It's so going back to you know that go-ahead pass. He just sees the court really well, knowing where his teammates are going to be and finding openings um, for them. Now, when he gets to the basket, he's really crafty finishing around the rim at 55% on his two pointers, which is a pretty good number for a guy who's 6'2", um, not necessarily the most explosive. He does a good job of just finishing around the rim in, in a variety of ways, typically with his left hand, occasionally with the right. Um, and then I would say on defense, you know, you, over one and a half steals per game is a great number. And he does a good job of just being in the right spots defensively. He's, he's usually in the right positions. You don't really see him out of position. Um, does he get beat? Yeah, but he's he's typically a guy who knows where he should be, similar to the offensive side of the court. Now some negatives for Tyler Kolek. Well, for me personally, every time I watch Tyler Kolek play, which was about a handful of times live this past season, he, he like couldn't hit a shot. And I, for the life of me, I don't understand how that happened considering he shot 40% from three. But I do know he was battling an injury at the end of the season and that may have contributed to it. So there's part part of that. Part of it is, you know, the game against Connecticut, he didn't look quite as good. Uh, the game against St. John's that I saw, he didn't look great. Even the NCAA tournament games, which I was able to watch um, with Colorado, and NC State against Colorado, he did score really well, but he just didn't shoot the three, only one three-pointer. So while the three-point shooting looks good, just me personally, I haven't seen it consistently. I did go back and watch uh, the St. John's game, for example, at home where he, he lit it up from three. I know he can do it. I've looked at the game log, etc., but I haven't seen him do it consistently personally. Additionally, I think that while he is a crafty finisher, he's not like a, a great finisher around the rim. And so I do think that 55% number will come down a bit um, at the NBA level. And he is 23 years old. So there are questions in terms of the upside. And then lastly, in terms of negatives, he's not an explosive athlete. And so with his limited size, I do think he will be targeted on defense. He'll have to prove himself that he can guard one-on-one -on -one consistently. Would I draft Tyler Kolek? Maybe. And for me, that, that's an upgrade because uh, the games that I watched, like I said, he did not play well. And so going back and rewatching other games gave me more confidence in Kolek's game, especially with his playmaking and passing ability, which I think are going to be NBA ready right away. I think he goes anywhere between 20 and 35 in this year's draft with team fits like the Suns and Timberwolves. Both teams can use a point guard for different reasons. And I would say my confidence level in my profile here is about 60% because like I said, the games I watched, he just didn't play well.
but I know in the majority of his other games, he did play well. So it's a little bit of a conundrum for me personally. I think he will be a, a solid role player at the next level, probably a backup guard um, who can come in, help run the offense, get guys involved, and hit his own shot when called upon. So I'm curious what you guys think about Kolek. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.